All right, today I'm going to show you how to use or make ringtones using GarageBand. GarageBand 2008. So whenever you do that, say you want a new one, you go to Create New Music Project. Name it whatever you want. You click Create. And then whenever you get through that, you go in here, exit out of that piano, and press Command Delete to delete it. Then you go down here to the bottom right corner, click on the media browser, and whatever song you want to use, just use it. So, let's just use Max. Take it, drag, click it, drag it, all the way up here to the top. Then whenever you get through with that, find the spot that you want to use. It doesn't really matter where I want to start, but, um, so you find that spot. You can click on the loop button so that you only export the part of the song that you want. But if you want to fade out the song, then you need to go all the way to the the very end of the song, go down to the bottom of the thing, like I'm doing right here, click it and drag to wherever you want it to leave off. Then you click track and then fade out. So it only fades out that part, the whole song. So if you would have had the whole song, it would have faded out the whole song, and you wouldn't have had to fade out where you want it to. Now, you click, go to click share at the very top where the menu bar is, and you click send a ringtone to iTunes if you want to use it for iPhone, or you go to export song to disk if you want to use it for a regular phone. You can press it. You want to use MP3 encoder because that's usually what phones use, and you want it to be high quality because it's usually the best. Um, export the song. Name it whatever you want. Like, I have... Um, a ringtones folder, so that's where I'm saving it to. And this is called Maps, so I'm just gonna name it Maps. And first it's gonna convert it, and then it'll send it to the wherever you want it to save. Here it is. Now you can either Bluetooth it over to your phone or you can hook up, hook your phone up through the USB port, cable, whatever. So you turn the Bluetooth on, go through your phone, turn the Bluetooth on on it, and then you go to, like, turn it on real quick, and then you go to send a file, and then whatever song you want to send, you click on it, or whatever you want to send, send it, which this, and then click on the phone that you want to send it to. And then you just click send anyways, because it'll take it. And now it's sending to my phone. If you haven't paired your phone with your MacBook or your Mac or whatever, then it'll um, probably ask you to put numbers in your phone or whatever. And once that's done, then you can go to your phone to make sure you got it, which it'll probably work, most likely. And if you didn't, then you didn't do it right. But making ringtones in GarageBand is pretty simple. So, yes, you want to accept it. So now you just go to menu or whatever on your phone. Hold on. And then you can, I called it Maps. That's on my phone. So, that's all you got to do. Thanks for watching, guys.